The next chapter of our manual is about one of the most important principles for the success of any movement, unity. Although it may seem self-evident, it should definitely not be taken for granted because it is a complex concept and difficult to achieve. It consists of three components. First of all, you need the unity of people. The strength of every movement lies in the support and participation of people from different parts of society, bringing together intellectuals, workers, farmers, politicians, students, can be a challenging task. In order to resolve your differences, you have to find the common goal, which will give purpose to your movement. So, it's time to ask yourself, what is the goal which can bring all of these different groups together? Most people will only struggle for a goal that is meaningful to them, but also reasonably attainable. This way, you can achieve the unity of purpose. For example, when Gandhi launched the Salt March in 1930, he managed to attack the British monopoly on salt, which touched virtually all members of Indian society. But don't forget that your opponent knows how to play this game as well, using the ancient divide and rule strategy. He will try to use every conflict among your potential allies to break your movement into smaller, more manageable pieces and then take control of these pieces one by one. You can avoid that only if you're united and strong inside and you can do that by building unity within the movement. Movements are like aeroplanes. In order to keep them up and flying, you'll need pilots, flight controls, instruments, engines, and train crews all working together in harmony. Don't forget, without this organizational unity, the movement will fall apart, looking like a bad rock band where every member plays his own tune. Efficient execution of strategy and tactics require discipline, responsiveness, and synergy rather than endless debate. So, less debate and more action. Movements are living things and unless unity is planned for and worked at, it's never going to materialize on its own, so you have to work hard. It depends on building coalitions and coalitions depend on people's abilities to get together, share their views and work out their differences. And the more people, the stronger the organization. Also, without unity within, no goal can be achieved. Finally, a common goal and common vision give your movement a common purpose. Unity, in the end, is about much more than having everybody line up behind a particular candidate or issue. It's about creating a sense of community, building a group identity, having a strong organization, leaving none of your men or women behind and sticking to your values. So, whenever you feel lost or confused or you see your movement fall apart, think of this. It's unity, stupid, and you will immediately know what you have been missing. That's it for now, and next we'll talk about something just as important and far more concrete, the principle that makes or breaks movements, the sacred principle of planning.